Hi, I'm Petra, and this is my channel, Petra Goes Outdoors. I was on vacation in the Algoi, that's a part of Bavaria, and from there I brought you some impressions. See you in a few seconds. This time we started in Oberstdorf at the bridge, at the paraglider's landing site. The path leads along the Tretach River, and the signage is E5. Here you can hike on both sides of the river. We walk in the direction of Christlessee Lake. The Christlessee Lake is a small mountain lake with very clear water and great reflections. And that's why we made a little detour. From there our path leads back towards Gerstruben and Hölltobel. We hike through the Hölltobel Gorge to Gerstruben and from there continue up to the Hahnenkopf. After we have reached the ridge, we walked down in the Eutal and took a little break in the mountain in Eutalhaus. From the mountain in Eutalhaus, we drove with an extraordinary vehicle directly back to Oberstdorf. We started on the right side of the river Dretach because there is no road next to the path. On the left side, the river Dretach accompanies us and to our right we see again and again small streams. I would have liked to walk barefoot through the river, but we had just started. And this is fireweed. I know it from Canada and Alaska. The path leads beautifully past pastures and meadows. The weather is very good today and it's very warm. Here is a small family. You can see that very rarely. You can look into the Spielmannsau, where the E5 leads to the mountain in Kempner Hütte. The E5 is an European long-distance hiking trail leading to Italy. And there he is, the Christlessee Lake. Such clear water is rarely seen. Now we walk in the direction of Hölltobel Gorge. The ascent to Gerstruben should be very nice. Here you could take a break to have something to eat. The mountain inn is beautifully situated almost at the turn off to our path. A narrow path leads up to the forest. The stream has dug a deep bed over the centuries.
The temperature drops in the gorge, but that does not bother us. Here you can admire the power with which the water has made its way. Go steadily uphill. The power of nature has dug this deep pool. Now we arrived in the museum village Gerstruben. Here you could go out for lunch. Before we continue our hike, we would like to take a look at the mountain village. An association has saved the houses from decay and operates a small museum. There should have been built around 1900 a storage lake, which was never realized. In 1361, the village was first mentioned in documents. The farmers came from the Kleinwalsertal and originally lived from agriculture. Now we start our ascent towards Hahnenkopf. As soon as we leave the village and the mountain inn, we are already alone again. The hike takes us through forests and later over beautiful alpine meadows. Today it's very warm and therefore we go slowly. Now we leave the forest and reach the alpine meadows. At the beginning of July, it is still blooming and it smells like a herb shop.
Now we have reached the top of the ridge and can look into the Euter. At the back on the left side is Oberstdorf, our start and finishing point. Here is a decent wind blowing. Now the descent into the Eutal begins. This is an orchid species and that is the Martagon lily. Although the weather is so fantastic, we met only three people on the tour. The nature in these magnificent landscapes we had once again for ourselves. The alpine roses bloom beautifully. The descent is so beautiful and not difficult. This is the Upper Lugenalpe. It's so beautiful, you can't get enough of it. Down there you can see the Lower Lugenalpe. There you could take a snack. On the other side of the valley you look towards Nebelhorn Mountain.
The last section of the descent was very steep and you need a good sure-footness. But you can bypass this section. After a break at the mountain in Eutal House, we make our way back with a special vehicle. At the Eutal House, you have the possibility to rent a scooter and to roll back to Oberstdorf. The ride is very entertaining and makes a lot of fun. If you also want to roll into the valley, you must make sure that the scooters are only land in dry weather. The scooters have a very good brake, you don't have to be afraid. Even children can go down to the valley with it. And so we roll towards our tour end in Oberstdorf for about 15 minutes. This was our last tour in Oberstdorf and I hope you like it. Thank you for watching and if you like my video please subscribe. And don't forget to press the bell for the notification. So see you soon. Bye.